practice every day. The channel's full of bread, a little turn, a little pray. I flip a million out of nothing, make me feel a certain way. Hoping that the switch. What's good, y'all? Fist Vegas, the hardest voice of sports. Go ahead, hit that like button and subscribe to the Fist Schooner while you at it. Y'all know what time it is. If you ain't with it, you best get with it. Now let's rock. Listen. Bye, bye. Get lost. Don't let the door hit you with a good loss split you. Bye, bye, get him in. Get lost. I'm, I'm tired of the Gettleman shit. I'm tired of the Joe Judge shit, but we stuck with him at the moment. Let's just, just, just get lost, bro. You're 19 and 46 as the general manager of the Giants. We've seen some of the worst years. The, the, you got old heads comparing this to the 70s. Like, you really got old heads comparing this to the 70s. This is the worst the Giants have been as long as I've been alive. This is the most embarrassing I've been as a Giants fan. This is, I'm, I'm, I'm ashamed to wear my Giants hat in public. I'm, a, I'm ashamed. I'm ashamed. And it's like, you know, for all the good Gettleman did, he did a lot of bad. I think the biggest mistake Gettleman made was firing Shermer. They should have kept Shermer. Shermer and Daniel Jones, they should have let them grow together. Shermer didn't get a fair shake. Shermer did not get a fair shake, man. Cause he had he he was stuck with the corpse of Eli Manning for one season. And then he has 24 touchdowns with Daniel Jones and they fire him. That wasn't fair. They should have gave him one more year with Shermer, man. Because that year with Eli don't count. Eli was dead as the Undertaker. That don't count. I mean, for real, Eli Manning was deader than them zombies in a thriller video. That shouldn't have counted. And then we get stuck at this bozo Joe Judge because you prematurely fired Pat Shermer. And that brings me to my next point. John Mara, if you're going to do something, do it right. Stop firing coaching staffs and keeping general managers. Stop firing GMs and keeping coaches. I don't know why Joe Judge is keeping his job right now. Did y'all not just see what happened with the Broncos? They fired Vic Vangio the first chance they got because the GM didn't pick him. That was an Elway pick. Elway stepped down. The new GM ain't want this dude. And that's what I mean with the Giants, man. Blow it up. You fire Gettleman. He's down there with the family at the Washington game, taking pictures, doing his last goodbyes, all that, whatever. I still say I, the next GM we get, Giants fans, he better not blow the team up. Blow up the front office. Don't blow the team up. I don't want to sit through three more years of waiting three more years. If the next general manager comes in here and tries to be Dave Gettleman, what I mean by be Dave Gettleman is, oh, I'm getting rid of every good player that I didn't pick up. I don't care how good the player is. If I didn't bring him in here, I'm getting rid of him. That's what fucked over Dave Gettleman. Gotten ready. He got rid of Jack Rabbit. He got rid of JPP. He got rid of Collins. He got rid of Odell. He got rid of the Eli Apples. He got rid of all our good players. He got rid of them. Got rid of Snacks. Got rid of Vernon. He got rid of all of our good players. And then you wonder why we suck. I don't want to go through that again. I don't, man. I want the new general manager, whomever he may be, to come in here and fix this team now. Build on what we have now. I, the Eagles just made the playoffs and have three first-round picks. The Cowboys were competing for a number one seed. I want to beat those fuckers next season. I don't want to be the rebuilding team. Oh, yeah. Hey, 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 Eagle fans, wait, wait, wait till two, wait till 2025, man. My Giants gonna be lit in 2025. Hey, Cowboy fans, yeah, man, wait till like 2024 when we get our team right. We gonna be good then. No, Giants fans, I'm tired of losing. I wanna win now. Whoever the next GM is, I wanna win now. I don't wanna hear that rebuilding shit. I wanna win now. 
Okay? For real. Keep Bradbury. Keep Blake Martinez. All right? I'm not in the mood. I don't want y'all to tear this shit down. And then we got to suck next year. And then, no, I'm not in the mood for that. Get rid of Gettleman. We got two top ten picks. We got five and seven. Build this offensive line. Put Saquon on the fifth year option. And let's get it popping. I'm not in the mood for this shit. Just because we get rid of Gettleman, don't give this franchise an excuse to not make the playoffs next year. It doesn't give this franchise an excuse to hit the reset button. The culture is fine. The locker room, the players are fine. Bring in a general manager that can fix these holes. Bring in an offensive coordinator with a damn brain. And let's compete for this motherfucking division next season. Bottom line. I will lose my mind if we tear this team down to the bare bones and try and rebuild it from scratch. I don't have the patience as a Giants fan to sit through another rebuilding trilogy. I call it a trilogy because all rebuilds take three seasons. Ain't that like the, 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 the ain't that what we do? Oh, give them three years for the rebuild. No, I'm not in the mood, bro. I want to win. Just because we fired Dave Gettleman does not give John Mayer a breathing room. No, John, I want a winning product on the field next season. Whether that's Pioli, Dorsey, Jim Harborough, whatever we doing next year, I want to win. Okay? Big Fish just want to win. Tired of losing, man. I'm tired of our season being done before Thanksgiving. I'm tired of these top five picks. Tired of this shit. Ready to win. You know why last year was so fun? Because week 17, we had something to play for. Week 17, we were fighting for the division. That's why last year was fun. This year was an embarrassment. We just got swept by the cockroaches in Washington. We were trailing three to seven points in some of these games and we stopped watching. I've never seen the Giants fan base check out the way they did at the the middle of this season. It's embarrassing. So just because Dave Gettleman is fired, John Mara, does not give you any breathing room. It doesn't give you an excuse to take your time. It doesn't take you off the hot seat. I want to win. You understand? I want to win. By any means necessary. You understand? I ain't got nothing else to say, man. I expect this next GM to come on to this team and build on what we have. Not tear it to the ground and make me wait two to three years to see results. How did that work out with Gettleman? I rest my case. That's it, that's all. Subscribe to the unit. If you rocking with me, my name is Fist Vegas. And I approve this damn message.